Hello YouTube and welcome back to Izuna Plays Terraria. We are on episode 6 here, just ready to get this started. I'm gonna load up the game here, Izuna, in my nice shiny copper armor, and on to our excellent world. So, in the past couple of episodes I've had issues with whether or not I've started recording. I should know that I've started recording because I hit the key right before I say welcome uh, just so that I can sync up everything properly and it seems to be working out fine so far but just in case like you know usually about six seven minutes in I'm like oh man did I actually start recording because I don't really want to be playing stuff and not have been recording at the time because you know it's just awkward right so this time I'm trying something a little different I moved over uh, my actual folder where the recording is going onto my second screen and that's all loaded up now so I can actually see if the episode is there and obviously I can look over and I see oh yes it has started so that's good oh just gonna <laughs> uh, you know there's just there's just a satisfaction in killing those rabbits you just can't explain that anyways so leaving off in the last episode hopefully you guys have watched but if you haven't Throughout that time, or through that episode, I ended up getting a shoddy agenda boomerang, which is awesome. Love the weapon so much. We got ourselves a couple extra chests here. We uh, also found my beloved hook, so I should actually be able to just jump up here and uh, make a grappling hook. Apparently, I can't. Do I? I might need an anvil or something along those lines to make a, a grappling hook, or I could just have not know the proper um, requirements for the crafting of it. Let's just bring this down here and ask him. So I need three iron chains and a hook to make a grappling hook. So no, I've got this. I've got all that. I probably just need an anvil, which requires iron bars. So if I smelt up some iron here, I should be able to make the grappling hook, which will be amazing. I just gotta remember the hotkey to send it off. I think it's G key, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Alright, so bam. That, oh, that's a silver bar. Okay, there we go. Fine. Perfect. Oh, anvil right here. Now, where am I going to place this anvil? I think maybe if I place it... Oh, that works out fine right there. Yeah, look at that grappling hook. Yes. Awesome. So excited for that. Okay, so... How do you... Let's check... Oh, I gotta save an exit to look at that. There's... No, there's there is a hotkey for it. I'm, I'm uh, pretty sure. It's gonna start... Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. It's the E key. Perfect. Oh, wait. Hold on. No, no. It is the E key. I was worried there because I did actually have it selected. Alright, so when I push E, I will grappling hook. Let's kill these rabbits with the grappling hook. Can we? Whoa. Aww. Aww. I'm a little disappointed there. Oh well, no matter. Channel Boomerang does the job once again. I see there's another rabbit over there. Let's uh, not use my doorway and use my Channel Boomerang. Boom! Oh, that was beautiful. Oh! Oh, nice! Nice! That was like perfect right there. Okay. Anyways, a couple falling stars here. Let's get back in here, place on these chests so I can clear out my inventory, and begin our next journey. Now, our next journey is going to be going over to the the corruption and uh, smashing an orb, so we can get uh, so we can get a musket. Uh, what do I want to put in this chest? Ideally, I want to keep everything organized eventually. Oh, why? Did, okay, good. Good thing I thought about this now, but I'm not supposed to place the chests here. They don't belong here. The chests belong in here. So let's place this down. Yes. One there. One there. Apparently I measured incorrectly because I was supposed to have enough room to place another chest. And I think I know what I did wrong. So in light of that, actually I was only supposed to have it too wide actually for these chests. It looks like I could still get three wide in this area. That's fine. Oh, no, okay, you know what? No, I know what I did. That's fine, it doesn't It doesn't really matter. Okay, let's place our building material in this one here. 
And we got a lot of that. We have a lot of that. And let's place our mineral. Actually, while I'm thinking about this, let's go take out my iron or copper bars, my copper ore, smelt that all down, my iron. Put this stuff all together. Quick stack all that stuff. There we go. Let's take this all out. And let's make my armor. I'm gonna take those silver coins off of there. Okay, so smelt all our bars. Which we get quite a few of copper ones out of here. That's plenty enough to make what I want. Um, but let's not do that just yet. It's only 16 more iron bars. That's still a lot of iron bars though. Now let's go take a look here at our silver. And our silver. Ooh, that's a lot. 38 of them. And boom, look at that. We have 14 gold bars. That should be plenty to make a crown. Um, let's see here. Crown, crown. Apparently, oh, you know what? Maybe those are what the gemstones are used for. Actually, uh, let's talk to Tanner here. Kevin 2.0. He'll tell us, won't he? With a gold bar, you can craft all this fancy stuff. A watch. Oh, grandfather clock. Interesting. Oh, but there's the watch here. Tells the time. Nice. Oh, look at... Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be making one of those later on. Not right now, though. So... Ooh, a depth meter. This could be handy, too. Not right now, though. Where's the crown? Huh. Apparently, it's not showing up here. Okay, maybe it's like a gemstone thing. They can be used to make phase blades. Nice. And jungle plant. No, uh, jungle pants, sorry. Hmm. Okay. Sapphires. Jungle hats. And blue phase blade. Phase blade sounds really cool, but we need a meteorite bar, which I don't think we've had a meteorite land yet. And apparently you can do colored torches with these different gems, but this is not helping me. I want to know how I make a crown. Hmm. Ooh, Splunker Potion. I do eventually want one of those. Hmm. Hmm. This is something I'm going to have to look up at a later point, because I think we, we now have enough stuff that I can easily make. Easily. Make. Uh, the crown. And fight the king slime. And I think this is uh, like a perfect opportunity to fight the king slime. And let's see here. Let's see here. And you know, I, <laughs> I should react a little bit more, but I think I've numbed myself to killing rabbits. I just do it and it's like, yeah, the rabbit's dead. It felt good, but it just, it's not the same anymore. Uh, let's see here. Do I, I'd rather have, honestly, full iron armor right now than f a piece of silver armor and other iron armor. Because you actually get, like, a, a better benefit. Now, let's crunch some math here. How much do I need? I need 45 plus... So, 75 iron to make a full iron suit. So, I can make a full iron suit right now and get the benefits of having a full set bonus right now. So, let's do that. Boom. So, I have a full set bonus, which is an extra two defense. Nice, so that's a total of 9 defense right now. Look at all these rabbits. You guys don't know what's going to hit you. You don't. Chow! <laughs> I honestly thought I was going to get both of them with that one shot, but I didn't. Okay. When you make a game of it, it's actually still really fun to pull up the rabbits. But anyways, uh, back to what we're doing here. So now I've got my armor. I've got my grappling hook. Do I need my grappling hook? I don't even need my grappling hook on my bar. I just have it right there and choom, choom. Perfect. Love it. Love it. Um, okay, so... Ah, I see. Apparently, to make a crown here... Just looking at the girlfriend brought over her phone, so we can take a look at this. It's a vanity item. Sells for 20 silver pieces, and yeah, I need to make 30 gold bars and one ruby. So why that's not showing up? When I talk to Kevin, I don't know. Um... Let's see here. So I've got 19 gold bars right now. I need to make a. I need 11 more. And Matt, these rabbits are just stockpiling out this door. They just want to die, don't they? Jesus. 
Okay, anyways, take care of them. So yeah, now I don't need to go out of my way to do all kinds of fancy things here. Um, I'm running out here. I'm going to grab some wood here so I can finish building the rest of the houses there. And then we'll start exploring. I know that's a little boring for you guys. I apologize. But uh, I do want to get any merchants that I can possibly get in at this moment. And I know I just ADD too. And I was supposed to be putting stuff in the chests. I will finish doing that before we actually head over to the corruption. And I think we're going to head to the right to find corruption because at the worst case scenario if we head to the right I'll find the dungeon anyways because so I'm pretty sure the dungeon all spawns in the right could be just tucking on my ass again too but I think any time I've ever found it, it's always been to the right anyways so not that I want to fight Skeletron right now it's something we are going to have to look at doing sooner than later but because obviously we can't be just scared of him the whole time. And I know he's one of those bosses that for sure kills you come morning if you don't kill him. Because I literally almost had him dead once and he just like flat out annihilated me. Or I could have just sucked too. It's, that's, that's another option as well. And I'm just getting Look at all these trees here. There's a ton of trees this way. I know I should plant some more acorns later on. But we'll, we'll take care of the whole tree farming um, at a later date. Because right now it's largely irrelevant. And man, the rabbits are just... Oh, can I get that bird? Come here, bird. No, quit it, quit it. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, okay. And actually, while I see it too, I'm going to grab that statue that I left out over there. Because mm. I need to make another room too to put all my statues in. Because I don't have room for that. Not sure where I want to add that to our house. And man, that's right, I did skip over that rabbit. Bam! Aw, oh, that was a horrible shot on my part. Look at me just trying to do this cool stuff and I fail it twice in a row. Jeez. Jeez. Okay, let's get the stuff in the statues. Um, I'm going to put the statues temporarily in this chest here. Um, this will become my fancy loot chest with all my ores. I'm going to hold on to the copper bars for now and the silver bars because I don't think there's anything I can make that I really want at this point in time. So I'll just hang on to it. Uh, iron ore. I like to keep all this stuff like really organized so it's really easy to find. This copper chainmail, honestly, I probably could sell it back to the vendor. Cause I don't think I'm ever going to need that again at any point. Wilbur Shop. Let's pick that up. And I'm going to sell to you. Thank you. Uh, mining helmet. Can I, I don't think I can afford that yet, and I'd really like to have that. It would, unfortunately, get rid of my iron helmet and my set bonus, but, you know, it's extremely handy, though, at the same time. Oh, wow, I have seven, or sorry, 78 throwing knives. That's quite a bit. I'm actually going to put those on there. I'm going to save this dynamite, too, because I'm going to need it where we're going. And uh, here, let me finish off what I was doing, so... That I can, you know, do stuff here. Okay, I'm gonna leave all my. No, I'm gonna take these out right now. There we go. I'm gonna quick sack all that. There we go. Acorns. It's so gonna come over here. We're gonna put the coins in here with my valuables. Good. Good. Um. So that's my valuables. This is my building stuff. I'm gonna put my wood in here. For... No, no, no. I brought that wood for a reason. That wood is here because I need to make four more or how many more tables do I need I need to eight more tables one two three four five six seven eight and I need eight chairs and this will finish off my houses and that'll give me enough room for every possible possible thing person I can get I'm just gonna open all these doors to make this really easy and like so okay while some of them I don't think I can get at the moment, like I don't think I can get Santa or anything like that without it being Christmas season, I could be mistaken. That'd be have to be something that I'll have to look up at a later point. Oh, I put that, the, put that in the wrong spot. I'll fix that after. I like to have everything uniform here, so it's really simple because really their houses don't really need to be anything special at all. Like, come on, come on, place it. There we go. So we'll do that. We'll skip that one that I messed up on. Because obviously it's sitting where I would place the chair. And all this stuff now should be valid housing. Oh yeah, I'm skipping that one. Temporarily. Uh, come on. I guess I gotta move closer. So we'll drop that on the... Oh, <laughs> I did not intend to close the door, but I guess I did. Alright, so let's place down this table. 
Place down the chair. Good. Alright, so now we have a ton of houses. We can get as many people as we want, and we have more rabbits. Just climb over here. Let's watch this. Whoa! Yeah, two with one. Bam! Good. Alright. Now that's taken care of. They're out of our hair. Come in here. Uh, potions we'll put in this chest for now. This is temper. Uh, should I bring hitting potions with me? Hmm. I suppose they do are useful, and I think you can hit like the H key or something like that to... Hmm, sorry, to use them? Maybe not. I, th I think this is good here right now. This will be fine. Perfect. That clears out my inventory. A lot of room has been made. Uh, let's quickly smash this. Can I take that with all that stuff in it? Hmm, no I can't. I'll just loot it all, then smash this chest. Yeah. There we go. Now I can place this chest in here. Like so. And then place the rest of the stuff in it. I'll organize this a little bit more after. I, I don't really want to do a ton of that on screen. I just don't want to have it with me right now. I think that's... Yeah, I can use those as ammo. Alright. The gel, I... Mm, you know what? I'm actually going to bring the gel and the wood with me because you never know when I'm, I'm going to need the torches. Because until I buy that splunking helmet, I need to have something that will give me vision. Okay. So really quickly, while I have this open, just make sure that these are suitable housing. Suitable, 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 perfect. So all those are suitable. That's all set up. That's good. So I'm going to have to collect more stone at a later point too, to fill in all this backing, but that's something we'll also take care of at a later date. Now it's time to explore. And it's just starting to hit night too. Awesome. Alright, here we go. We begin our journey for the killing of the birds. He's gonna... Oh, 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 oh. Yes. I gotta practice with this boomerang so I can get shots like that. I should be able to just walk by and one-shot the bird like, yeah, like that. Alright, so we got some slimes here, which is good. We need the gel. Come here, slimy. Cool. Ah, oh, yes, a nice little cavern, too. I'm not talking about this one to the left. I'm actually talking about the one to the right, but... Come on. That's not the way I wanted to fire that. He's like, oh. Nope, he's out. He's out. You know what? I'm just gonna... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Right, because I moved that over. The short sword's on five. Cool. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm gonna smash these pots really quick, and then we're gonna take a look in that little cave there. Just in case there's wooden chests. Because while I do like the gold ones, and they're really decorative, uh, the wood ones are very useful for storage right now, and I definitely do need the storage space. Because you guys have seen how quickly things fill up, and probably having played the games yourself, you know how fast stuff can fill up. And I suppose this is one of those cases where I can just use the shift key. And yeah, look at that. Perfect. What I was talking about. Chest. So loot all. Let's, uh, yeah. See, this is the only downside to not actually placing down stuff. Man, this is like a massive area. Look at another chest over here. This is huge. Uh, we'll loot all. Perfect. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is a huge cavern. Whoa, 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 whoa! I just totally wasted those. Oh well, I guess, what do you do? I suppose it was helpful. I should actually be placing, um, torches in. Oh, a demon altar, nice. So this one's relatively close too, which is really handy. So let's do this and another chest too. Yeah, so apparently this is where I should have came instead of just digging straight to a elevator straight down. I should have just actually come and explore this part. So let's go up here, see if there's anything. I keep wanting to hit my keypads, but I can just, you know, do that. And by that I mean I can just hit, uh, hit the shift key and bring out a torch and then I can place it. And I don't have to, you know, fumble all over the place looking for my one which key I have stuff bound to. So is this heading back to the top? Is that what's going on here? Uh, doo -doo. So that's the nice thing, you can just maneuver with the grappling hook. The grappling hook is so, so useful. Like, I love it so much. 
Makes your life so... Ah! Oh. I keep doing that. It's when you hit shift and hit another key, it like... For some reason, it... I don't even know what's going on, honestly, to make me throw those. I suppose, geez, I have 96 glow sticks. It's not really a big deal if I throw them out, but... Hey, cool. A ruthless spear. I'm not much of a spear person, but... I can always try using it for a little bit. Come on, zombie. Uh, let's replace my axe with the spear. Yeah. I think you can attack stuff through the walls with this. I'm not 100% certain on that, but I think that's the case. Ooh. Alright, so this is iron. This is starting to turn on to a splunking adventure, and that's not quite... Ah, but that's a gold chest. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what I did to do that, but all of a sudden now I've got a glow stick out. Okay, I'm back to that. Hmm, that's weird. I really don't know what I'm doing there. Okay, let's go down here. Oh, no, what am I doing? Oh, uh, no, what, ow, ow. Okay, no, I got this, I got this. Look at this spear. I can't see them, but I can poke them. I'm going to place a torch really quickly so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's not one of my favorite items, though, but it's useful. Now, before I run away too far here, let's uh, check this gold chest. And I'm actually, I don't want to explore down here because I was going to the corruption. And obviously, this is not the way to the corruption. Nice. That's, that's awesome. I like having, whoa. <laughs> I like having. Right click and equip that. Good, good. Let's collect this. Alright. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Back to the surface. Fight some zombies. Fight some eyeballs. We still have quite a few um, lenses we need to collect. So I do need 10 of those to get the Eye of Cthulhu summoning. I head over here. And I'm noticing now one mistake that I made uh, when I rearranged my second screen. I accidentally covered up the time I've been recording, so I don't know actually how long this episode's going off for, but uh, hopefully, actually I guess I can just look at the top and I can see how far along we are, which is fine. So I don't want to have episodes that are too, too long for you guys, because yes, I do enjoy the game and so on, but I realize time is precious and you probably have a lot of other stuff you want to watch too, so you don't want to sit here and watch a 45 minute episode of Terraria. <laughs> Honestly, which I don't blame you. So, I, I like the lengths I've been doing so far. They're pretty good. Uh, you can get some stuff done on it. And it works out pretty well, honestly. I would like, though, for this episode here, to at the very least for us to find corruption. It would be awesome. But I see another little cavern here, and I don't quite know if I want to explore it yet. Mm, I want this fallen star for sure. Again, I do need to collect those. Let's keep running. We'll just run as far as we can. Because obviously, yes, I will be able to collect stuff like the fallen stars that come along, and it'll get us closer to finding the corruption and fighting Eater Worlds. Oh, we have this eyeball following us. Let's take care of him. Oh, that was a bad shot on my part. Come on. Come on. I got this. Yeah. One more. Ooh. Cool. Come on. Bam. Bam. There we go. And just a copper coin for it. David. Now, I don't think he dropped that, though. Cool. So I did 20 damage to you. Ah! Oh, I was trying to lead him there. It would have been so good if I hit two. Ow. Miss. Yes. I hit on the way back. It's the beauty of a boomerang, too, is... It's hit on the way back. It's really nice. Oh, interesting. A shackle. Nice. Fighting zombies does have its uses. Let's equip that. One defense. Hey, everything helps out, right? And here we go. Here we go. And explore. Explore sunflowers. Sand. So we got to the desert. Not exactly what I was looking for, but nevertheless, nevertheless, 
I could have sworn at one point in time when I was playing that cactus has hurt you. Maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't know. Uh, ugh. You know what? Let's do it like this. Oh, right. I can't mind that because there's a tree on top of it. Boom. Ow. What's hurting me? Ow. Ow. No. Ow. Jesus. Oh, God. Stop it. Ow. Ow. Son of a... Stop it. Whew, that was a lot of damage for no reason. I shouldn't... I shouldn't run away from them after they've done all that damage, but I don't know if I want to go back there. But he... The zombie wasn't even there when I initially started to take damage, so I don't know what was going on. Hmm. A heart. That's actually really useful right now. I don't... Yeah, I'm not going to go back and fight those guys. I've got, I've got bigger things to do. Bigger fish to fry. Did I... Oh, yeah, I did bring my bombs with me. Good. Oh, I was about to freak out there. I was like, no, I need bombs, otherwise I can't mine through this stuff. Ouch, what was I doing? I don't even know what I was thinking there, honestly. Oh, we'll just ignore him. No, you know what? I'm just going to switch to... Ah, uh, wrong key. There we go. Boom. You know, Boomerang has its place, but the sword is definitely better at fighting stuff like the zombies. So I'll just mow through them really quickly. Look at all that copper coin I got. So much copper coin. Alright, back to the forest. And yeah, I don't really want to go through there. I'm actually trying to cover ground here. I suppose by the looks of it, this is going to take me straight through, but we'll skip it for now. There's lots of time for us to explore a lot of the stuff in this world. And we'll find that at a later point, honestly. Because we do have a goal in mind, and we are heading that way. And yeah, looking over now, I can actually see how long I've recorded at the top of the bar here, and we're 26 minutes along, so hopefully we'll find corruption soon. If not, I'm going to have to stop this, and we'll have to find it in the next episode. So we'll see how that plays out here. Another little cavern here. Eyeballs. Torches, shurikens. And I think that was fall damage, honestly. Okay, this is a bad situation for me. I gotta have all this armor for my silver armor. Okay, come on. There we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. That just looked like a really bad situation. Which it actually kind of was, but... Whoop. There we go. Alright. More zombies. More eyeballs. Maybe I went the wrong way to find corruption on. I mean, here's hoping that I find it soon, but... Come here, you're out of my range now. You're out of my range. There we go. Oh, a lens. Perfect. Love it. Love it. Haha, ha, can't get me, huh? Oh, that was not what I was going for, but it worked out really well. Okay. Keep running. Running. I, I could swear that there's supposed to be something like three points of corruption in your world that spawn with it. Um... So I should have no problems finding them, but, you know, oh, yeah, perfect. Just as I'm talking about corruption, we find it. Awesome. Okay, so this is the area where stuff can actually hurt you by just, yeah, those thorns. I think I need that stuff that I actually just destroyed there. Yeah, oh, he's dropped a lens, so I have to go collect that. Perfect. Oh, that's a vile mushroom. Awesome. I do need to collect those, because, again... I can use those to summon up the E. Ah! Switch, there we go, right weapon. I broke up my hammer because I'm so used to hitting four to use my sword. But I shifted over when I got the enchanted boomerang. I'm just gonna fall down here and kill them. I'm gonna take a lot of damage doing that, but it worked out really well, actually, at the end of the day. Oh, slime, really? Yes, I want your gel. Okay. Alright, here we go. So we are now at the corruption. Perfect. This is a great time to stop the episode because we've almost gone on now for for 30 minutes here. So I'm going to stop the episode and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you tune back in. Have a good one.